Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about um, basic ICT order flow. Um, I have been trading. I don't want to go over the executions or video record or put any pressure on myself, so I'm not going to. Um, but I do want to talk about the basics of, of how to tell if order flow using just the candlestick chart from a very, very basic perspective from, from ICT, and, and he will mention this. So the basics of ICT order flow is that if order flow is overall bullish, the black candle should support price. And if price is bearish, the green candles should resist price. Um, it's really, in many ways, that, that it's as basic as that. So notice that earlier today on Monday, during the lunch hour we had our lunch macro that ran on stops and <clears throat> even if you didn't notice the buy set imbalance sell set inefficiency here you could have seen here on the four minute chart that that black candle right there or the pair of black candles now yes it did it did go through the first black candle but every time that you notice that price makes it to the next black candle and you're waiting to see whether price remains bullish or bearish you're watching for the opposite colored candle okay and it's as really as simple as that and you will see this pattern play out over and over and over again so notice for example that here by the way you've always got to read the bodies of the candles and not the uh, not the wick so notice we have a small black candle here and notice that price does close below it but but barely right and then as price comes back to that black candle right there notice where the close of that black candle is and so we could tell that order flow remained bullish and then where would we target we would target buy side liquidity so this should give you confidence when you see the market retracing where you're looking for price to find uh, quote unquote support right you're watching for opposite colored candles if order flow remains bullish the black candle should support price going higher. Similarly, if order flow is bearish, then the green candle should um, should resist price. So notice here, for example, we had a green candle, we had a bearish leg, and notice that as price trade back, traded back to the low of that green candle, notice that it resisted price. Okay, so this is super basic, like ICT order flow number one and it's watching for opposite colored candles and guys you will see this phenomenon play out time and time again and you're watching to see okay as price is let's say bearish notice that the green candles should be resisting price okay and sure enough all the way down they do okay as we go higher notice that the black candles are supporting price as it goes higher. That's ICT uh, order flow 101, and it's uh, vi visually easy to see, um, and it also cues your mind to to be on the lookout for when price is in a strong buy or sell program, and so you use that in conjunction with your other concepts so for example I'll show you a couple of executions that I took here tonight um, how did I know to get long here and here so how, wh how did I know like I thought that price was coming to the buy side liquidity so first off price was obviously like looking like it was going higher and I saw the buy side liquidity here but notice that right around here in equilibrium these black candles right and notice that as price traded back down I'll notice the bodies of the candles are respecting that's actually a propulsion block right it's a black candle that trades into prior black candles um, this is guys this is IC, basic ICT order flow 101 if you are trading higher the black candle should support price and if you are trading lower the green candle should resist price is that everything to ICT? Obviously not, but it's a good primer to get you started for thinking about order flow in the right way, and you won't be as um, frightened when price retraces against you, and will also give you a hint as to, like for example, when is the market made a short-term high? Well, if you see 
that the black candle is not supporting price. It initially did, right? You got a reaction off of this black candle. But as you see that price trades through it, uh, and you see that the green candles are starting to resist price like they do here, just notice the closes of the candles, right? Not the long wick, notice the closes. Notice the closes of the candle, not the wicks. Notice the closes. Well, if you start to see price, right, if you're, if you're bullish and you're seeing green candles resisting price and black candles are not supporting price, you know something is up. There's probably been a change in, in order flow, right? We're probably in a sell program now. So basic ICT order flow 101, guys, as you're trading higher, the black candle should support price. That's where you're going to find your order blocks, uh, propulsion blocks, things like that. Uh, you're going to find order blocks and propulsion blocks there. Uh, mitigation blocks, breaker blocks. And then as price is trading lower, the green candle should resist price. Okay, so that again, that's where you're going to find bearish order blocks, bearish mitigation blocks, bearish propulsion blocks. You're going to find as price trends down, the green candle should resist price. And don't read the candle wicks, read the closes. Okay, guys, this has been Basics of ICT Order Flow 101. Bye-bye.